Molly the dog to show you around the church because at the moment you can't come to the church but I'm going to go into the church and show you some of the important bits of the church here. Now the church is called the same name as the school it's called St Peter and St Paul. So this is St Peter and St Paul's church. Charlton you can see there's a spire and at the top of the spire there's a cockerel weather vane. Now we're going to have a look at the doorway. So above the doorway, we've written, May Christ bless this house. And if I ask the camera to come a lot closer, we can have a look and see that what I drew on the church, on the school door is also here. It's wearing off a bit now, 20, C plus M plus B, C for, C for Casper, M for Melchior, B for Balthazar, 21, 20, 21. That is our epiphany blessing for the church and I did the same thing for the school. So let's come in through the porch and see what happens in the church. So we've got things that people can collect I've got some ash there for Ash Wednesday. And we've got baskets here where people can leave food for the food bank or soup for the Night Watch charity in Croydon. As I go in, I have to sanitise my hands. So I've got a foot pedal, sanitise my hands. There's no one else in the building, so I'm not going to wear a mask because it makes it easier for me to talk to you. So let's go on in. Now Molly's going to have to stay still for a minute. Can you see Molly? She's going to be just staying there. Aren't you Molly, while I show the children round. So I think we've been talking, I know we've been talking about baptism and the baptism of Christ, that Jesus was baptised by his cousin John. Well, lots and lots of people, thousands of people have been baptised in this church. This font is hundreds of years old, and a font is a big basin, which we can show you if you come in close and have a proper look. You can see that there's a big bowl and a plug that doesn't look like your bathroom plug, but is a big wooden plug, goes into the hole there. We fill this up with water, and when people are baptised in this church, this is where it happens. So this is full of water and a baby or an adult can be baptised here by me in this font. It has a lid on when we're not using it, so I'm going to put the lid back on so that behind it you can see the candle. So this candle is called the Easter candle or the Paschal candle and this stands in the church until Wednesday. Then we take it out and we don't bring it back in again until Easter and I will light it. And if we come very close, you can see here some ropes. One, two, three, four, five, six ropes. And they're for the bells. And we play the bells by doing this, by pulling on the rope. We can't see the bells, they're up in the tower, but you will be able to heal, hear them. So I can make those bells play by pulling like that and the rope goes all the way up into the tower and plays the bells in the tower that we can't see. So let's see what else we've got in the church. We've got a very special window which I hope you'll be able to follow me and see. So these wooden Benches here are called pews, this is what we sit on. And if we follow through, we can see the organ. Unfortunately, I haven't got anyone to play the organ for you today. When you finally come down, maybe someone will play the organ. So this is like a piano, but much louder. So when we're in church, somebody sits here and plays the organ so that we can sing together. 
The reason I've come over to this part of the church is to show you the window. So in this window, there are colours. And when a window is coloured like this, it's called stained glass because all the different colours make a picture. And so you will hear people talk about churches having stained glass. It's lovely when the light comes through. And this window shows you St. Peter here holding a big key and St. Paul here holding a sword because he was a soldier, but he doesn't use his sword anymore, and a book because he wrote a lot of letters that got made into books. So that's St. Peter and St. Paul. That's not what they looked like. We don't know what they looked like because there were no photographs in those days. But somebody's imagined it and turned it into a picture made out of coloured glass. So I'm going to show you now another part of the church, which is at the other end. We have to come out, back round, through the pews. And I want you to see the pulpit. So in the olden days, people used to preach from high up because the words that were being talked to the people in the pews were important. So if I'm going to talk to everybody, I want everybody to see me. I'll go up these steps and into this wooden box, which is called a pulpit. And this pulpit has been here for over 400 years. And it was put here in memory of a woman called Patience. From this pulpit, you will be able to also see with the camera the big picture on the wall at the back of the church. And that picture has been there for almost a thousand years. A very, very old picture painted in 1140. We'll talk about that properly another time. So I'm going to come out of the pulpit, down the steps, and show you the altar. So this is where the service takes place. If I'm going to take a service, I might stand up here. And if we can turn the camera, you'll see all the pews where the people sit. And on here, when I'm not taking a service, I leave a Bible. I don't know if you can come close in and see the Bible. And some pictures of Jesus. Again, we don't know exactly what Jesus looked like, so lots of artists have ideas of what Jesus looked like. And if we go up, you can then see Jesus in the stained glass. See Jesus being born, Jesus on the cross, and Jesus going to heaven. So there's lots, lots more I could tell you, and I hope I'll be able to have you down here one day to come and have a look at the church. Meanwhile, I'm going to show you the way out, but I'm not going to talk anymore now, but you've seen the main parts of the church. The font, where you're baptised, the pews, where people sit, the pulpit where the vicar preaches from and the altar where the service takes place. Lots, lots more to talk about and of course the stained glass. And this is the way we leave the church by going through this little door here. This is called a side chapel because it's a little bit on the side and we can walk up and you'll get a view again of the font and hopefully we'll find Molly. Shall we see if we can find Molly? I think I found her. Here we are. Molly has waited very, very patiently. And so Molly and I are both going to say goodbye from St Peter and St Paul's Church.